Hi, my name is Bruce. I'm with Scuba Tools Incorporated. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to test an Acuna second stage and first stage regulator on our airflow analyzer using our high pressure manager as an air source instead of a scuba tank. Um, first put your first stage on the high pressure manager. This high pressure manager will accept yoke or DIN. So DIN valve, we'll just screw this on in here. We also have what are called spin-ons, so you need to pick the appropriate spin-on for your low pressure hose and fit it on to the airflow analyzer down here on the intermediate pressure gauge and make a connection here. You take your second stage and remove the bite piece and use the band seal to make a connection to your second stage. Okay, we're going to turn the air on as if turning on a scuba tank. We can adjust the regulator at 500 PSI to simulate a tank almost empty, or we can quickly make an adjustment up to full pressure, 3,000, 3,500 PSI, to, make, to test it at the high end of the tank. Okay, so we're supplying air to the venturi portion of the airflow analyzer, about 150 PSI. With this air supplied, we will crack this valve open and we will start to watch the intermediate pressure gauge needle. Once the needle moves, we will stop turning the valve. So this regulator started giving air, the valve cracked open at 0.8 inches of water or 2 centimeters of water. After testing cracking effort and intermediate pressure, then test intermediate pressure. Keep an eye on intermediate pressure for lockup or drift. And go ahead and continue to open the valve and run your flow meter up to a reference point of five cubic feet per minute and document your breathing effort and your intermediate pressure. Go ahead and continue up to 10 cubic feet per minute and document your intermediate pressure and your breathing effort. 15, do the same, and, and so on and so on, and document all this information. If your, if your cracking effort is too high or too low, we have an adjustment tool that will quickly make this adjustment. It's called the dual drive inline adjusting tool. We'll insert the tool in between the airline and the second stage. You can turn the air back on. We can then engage the screwdriver blade of the dual drive tool and open the regulator, open the orifice until we hear it leak. Then go back until it stops and turn it about one eighth of a turn. It should now be properly adjusted. We can now take the tool out. That's the wrong fitting. And we can retest the second stage. Now cracks open at about 1.2 inches of water, which is that's a very good, good point to set. 1 to 1.2 inches of water. So now we're going to test another Arcona second stage. Tracking record on this second stage regulator is 
4 centimeters of water or 1.6 inches of water. Okay, so we're going to take the first stage apart and the first thing we will do is remove the den retainer screw with a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. X key. Once we remove that, you use a wrench to remove this part and this plastic shroud. Okay, we have a first stage handle for low pressure or high pressure ports so we can hold on to the regulator. So we'll screw one end of this into the first stage. We can use a number five hook spanner with pin to separate the two parts of the first stage. The environmental chamber, chamber And here we have the piston, it's a flow through piston and your spring and back here we have the seat, well this is a seat retainer Oops. and your seat is right here. We have three pins that pass through the first stage body. So you can see these, these pins go all the way through. And so the seat Here's your soft seat right here that the end of this piston closes off on and makes a seal. So when we put all this back together, the way this works, put the seat back in first here. We'll replace our pins. And to adjust intermediate pressure, when we put this cap back on, depending upon how tight we tighten this, it pushes on the pins, and the pins push on the other side. We have a spring seat here. Just keep dropping things. So as we tighten this, these pins move up and down and move the spring seat back and forth and puts more pressure on the spring and that's how we can adjust intermediate pressure in the first stage. So to replace the piston, I need to take the seat back out of there. We have what's called a piston bullet. The sharp edge of the piston, there's this very small O-ring inside the first stage body. There's a sharp edge on the piston and it can cut that O-ring. So we place this piston in the, in the stem of the this bullet into the stem of the piston so that it passes by the o-ring without cutting the o-ring. Let's just 
go ahead and put the pins in from the other side. That's my washer. Spring, piston. Once it goes through, we pull this tool out. And now we can put our seat, high pressure seat, back into the first stage body. And you'll bring the high pressure seat down and tighten it. And then we can replace this cap and pins. Now the way this works, you see that we have holes through this part of the first stage. We have a piston here that's going to float back and forth. <laughs> Maybe repeat that. We have, yes, we have a piston that floats back and forth. This portion of the first stage is called the environmental chamber. The holes through here are so that the water can enter the first stage so that as you go deeper and you experience more pressure, it also exerts more force on the spring to overcome the pressure in coming from the scuba tank to keep your intermediate pressure equalized as you go deeper and deeper. That's why it's a balanced piston regulator. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll cut some. No, we're going to leave that in there. Not take it out again. Good. When we assemble these two halves of the first stage, this side is considered the environmental chamber. You can see these holes where the water can enter the regulator. The piston, the O-ring on the piston seals off on this side. So therefore water can enter the spring side of the piston. So we assemble it, we can adjust intermediate pressure with this screw and those pins pushing against the whole assembly. But as we go deeper in the water, the water being able to enter here adds to the spring pressure to increase intermediate pressure as we go deeper in the water column. Okay, and the reason we use stainless steel for the piston and the spring is anti-corrosion, no rust, and the hardness of the material. If we use brass, like the first stage body is manufactured from, the sharp edge of the piston could be damaged very easily. Brass also cannot be used as a spring. The piston is not magnetic. It is a 300 series stainless steel that will not rust. The spring could rust. You have to have iron in a spring in order to get hardness. And a spring has to have hardness or it would not work. Okay, on the pneumatically balanced second stage, we'll take this cover off the front, the purge cover, and pull out the diaphragm retainer and the diaphragm. You'll see what we call the air barrel, which inside the air barrel has a pneumatically balanced poppet with a demand lever. The demand lever is depressed by the diaphragm just, on all, just like all second stages. The difference on this regulator is being pneumatically balanced, it works much like the balanced piston first stage, only at much lower pressures. So as you go deeper in the water column, you're constantly unbalancing this chamber with inhalation and exhalation. So as you go deeper and deeper, rather than it being more difficult to inhale or on the regulator 
making it difficult to in, inhale on the regulator and going deeper and deeper would cause a free flow. The piston floats back and forth and the piston in this case they call the poppet. It's inside this air barrel. So it self adjusts as you go deeper in the water column. This small assembly here with the poppet, the lever, the spring, this little piston area down here, all gets assembled inside the air barrel. So it works very similarly to a balanced first stage regulator. And as, the, as you inhale, of course your diaphragm would depress this lever. And in depressing this lever, it will move the poppet away from the seat, which is up inside here, a knife edge seat. And it pulls it away and allows air to flow. As you go deeper in the water column, or up and down in the water column, the, the unbalanced pressures in here will change a great deal at greater depth. So it constantly equalizes and floats, accommodating for higher pressures at depth, less pressure at a shallower depth. So it constantly stays balanced as far as your adjustment, your seat adjustment. 